The show is titled Believe. It is a magnificent display of the incredible bond between man and killer whale. Two worlds, two different species, trying to bridge the gap between them. And how do you bridge that gap? You believe. The idea of believe was actually born from the whale itself. As you can see from the whale tail behind me, from the behaviors that are in the show, and even the music that was composed in the show, it all came from the animal itself. These whales are amazing animals, and they brought with them the whole concept of this particular show. The way they can move about the water, their finesse, their power, and their agility, it, it's indescribable. And I think that's one thing people never get tired of seeing. We as trainers, we never tire of it. We see it every day, but we appreciate it every day. So we aren't special people. We have special jobs, and we recognize that. And we understand that we are, in essence, ambassadors for humankind interacting with this species of animal. We did this by complementing the wonderful talents of our internal entertainment team and animal training team by bringing in people from all around the country. We brought in a Broadway producer to help us establish what the overall content of the show would be. We brought in a set designer and a composer from Los Angeles area. We also brought in a Hallmark Corporation to help us with what the emotional content of the show would ultimately be. And this really is our heart and soul. We have seven, eight sequences really if you count testimony, but seven behavioral sequences that involve the whales and we break each one down into each individual behavior. And what we started with was the first sequence, Shambu Alone, and we tried to marry behaviors to the feel of the music, the feel of the, the video, um, and so this is what we've come up with over the course of the last six to 12 months. We brought all of this together, we mixed it all together, and we ultimately created a one-of-a-kind, unique experience that you can only find at SeaWorld. At the core of SeaWorld's training philosophy is positive reinforcement. It permeates every interaction the trainers have with the whales. More than anything, the trainers want the animals to have fun. There's behavior in the show where we turn all the sprayers on, we get on the whale, and we zoom to the bottom of the pool, and we leap up out of the water jump over the sprayers, come down with the whale, that's just plain fun. That's, that takes you back to the day where you first imagined wanting to get into the water with the killer whale. That's exactly the reason why we do this. It's just fun for us and for the killer whales. In a single moment. From the trainer summits and the ideas generated by the Believe team, we took those ideas back to the park, talked about it with the in-house staff, and we put those sequences and those ideas into the emotional expressions that you'll see in the big show. Somewhere deep inside, all that was impossible is possible.